Ian Blackford has come under attack over his suggestions the UK government would continue to pay independent Scottish pensions, with an MSP branding them absurd as they have caused divisions among the MSPs. Donald Cameron scoffed at the suggestion from Ian Blackford that Scottish pensions would continue to be paid by the UK government if Scottish independence was achieved. Mr Cameron believed the comment was absurd before pointing out the fractures which have emerged among the SNP who have disagreed over where the responsibility for paying pensions lay. The Tory MSP unleashed at Mr Blackford in an angry rant and disliked how pensions would become a negotiation tool for independence. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Mr Cameron was asked to comment on Mr Blackford's suggestions on pensions. He answered, they were absolutely absurd comments for any credible politician to make and the SNP since then have tied themselves in knots over this issue. The idea that following independence, UK taxpayers would continue to pay for the pensions of what would then be a foreign and independent country is simply risible. I mean, it's absolutely laughable that this suggestion could ever have been made. The position has always been that the UK following a vote for independence will not pay for the pensions of those in an independent Scotland and they will become a liability of the new Scottish state. And to see people like Ian Blackford, suggesting that there is some kind of pension pot that would then be up for negotiation is absolutely absurd. Mr Blackford sparked an outcry after he suggested the UK government would still be required to pay the pensions of independent Scots. He argued it was right for those contributing to pensions to have their fair share paid back to them. He said, the important point is that those that have contributed while we have been part of the UK have an entitlement for a pension. And indeed that was made clear by the Chief Secretary to the Treasury at the time of the independence referendum in 2014. So that commitment to continue to pay pensions rests with the UK government. That's no different to a UK citizen that chooses, for example, to live in Canada or Spain or France or anywhere else. That commitment to receive your pension remains in place. Ms Sturgeon said an independent Scotland would be liable for the pensions after weeks of confusion.